Thank you so much for being in the house. From Monday up to today is not very easy. It is a commitment. And because of that commitment, you have. May the Lord literally lift you more and bless you more for the glory of his name in Jesus' name. And for the viewers, those have been following us from Monday up to today. Thank you so much for watching us from Monday up to today. We also really appreciate you for following us and we really appreciate and I declare that your life will never be the same again. May the Lord continue lifting you and meeting the desire of your heart in Jesus' name. And we'll come you next week from Monday all the way to Friday. You'll be here again and you're very much welcome. Let us appreciate the, the viewers. Let us appreciate them. Come on, let us appreciate them in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I want to appreciate each of you to be in the house. And uh, we are going to put a comma of what we've been um, um, hearing or building on this week because this week I've been hearing on um, redeeming and repossessing through spiritual growth or the benefit of spiritual growth or important of the spiritual growth. That's the topic that we have been learning from Monday up to today. And we want to ask uh, our brother uh, Reverend Nathan. Let us appreciate Nathan. He has took two. He has uh, he has preached two days, and I preached three days because I've been having some commitment. And uh, next week it, it's going to be a marathon. will be a marathon. We'll be again, and I'll be teaching you on a very exciting topic. And then uh, all the way to Friday, and then the other week. Turn to your neighbor and to your neighbor, neighbor. The other week, we have a very powerful man of God all the way from Tanzania. And of course, all of us, we have come across him. He was here last year. He's called Bishop Musibi. He's a great man of God. Don't miss from Monday all the way to Friday. It will be great in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll be having lunch hour and we'll be having revivals in the evening. Please invite as many people as you can that that week, it will be a very exciting week for each of us in Jesus' name. Turn to a neighbor and turn to a neighbor. You are very important in this lunch hour. I also want to appreciate my daughter Wanjiro. Thank you for coming, Wanjiro. Lift, lift up your name. Lift her. Yeah. I appreciate her. She's my daughter. We have come from her. We have come from far with her in this faith. And we thank God. Siku moja imimi na ye na mbiyangu. Tulipigo na wezi. Anakubuka. Huyu muna muona. Tuliko tuna umbili kule juja. Juja. Wakati we likuwa kidogo juja. Sasa sasa imegru. Sasa juja imegru. So we went to preach there with her and my wife and uh, the lady and uh, another, another two guys. So when we are coming after Rika to Kapata Panja migu miwili. Pale tu pale katika bridge hapo. Sasa migu miwili hakuna. Ile iko ni moja. Sasa Mwaja mtu mwaja kazama kwa mba Wewe we pasta siku wa bisho Wewe pasta enda Paka kafati kulikuwa usiku Ujaribu ya kwa mba Ukipata spare Ukipata kustegresio mgu ni sabo So wakati mimi nilika washa hapa waki watano Walikuto na wezi Haa ule na muona Na bibi yangu Waka nyoroshwa Waka ibiwa Paka viatu Paka saa Paka pesa Nini Lakini mungu yetu ni mzuri we are still preaching. Amen. Thank you, Wajiro, for coming to us. May the Lord bless you. I cannot forget you, the labor that you labor in the Lord. Amen. Are you, are you laboring for the Lord? To Katika, Second Thessalonians, chapter number one, and verse number three, that's about it. And then uh, we continue to hear what God has for us today. And then uh, we put a comma because next week we'll continue with another topic before the man of God arrived the other week. The Bible says, we ought always, that's now, now Paulo speaking to the church of the Russians. We ought always, I want you to note the word always. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, that's now Paulo speaking, brothers, because it's the right. 
Because your faith, I want to know that one. Your faith is growing abundantly. And as kuru mungu sana, sana sana paura na sana kwa ba. And as kuru mungu sana 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 kwa sababu imani ya wale watu wa Velocians, imani yao inaasa ku kukua saidi. Because your faith is growing abundantly. Amen? And the love of every one of you for one another is also increasing. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Paulo akasukuru mungu sana kwa sababu ya wadugu wetu. The resources kwa sababu they had a desire to grow abundantly. Katika imani. Katika imani yao uh, Paulo anasema kwamba nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu you are growing in faith more abundantly. Na kwa hivyo hivyo ndio sababu Mungu wetu anatuleta hapa kutoka Monday mpaka Friday. Why? Ili zote tunakuwa saidi katika imani. Hallelujah. Geukia mwezako umwambie kukua saidi katika imani. Na pia upendo wa wetu unaendelea kukua mwingi and the love of one another is increasing that to say that our love of one another in our rancha must continue in increasing and our faith in God should continue growing more abundantly hallelujah na when our faith grew abundantly and our wrath of one another is increasing, then you are going to be sure that you are growing spiritually in Jesus' name. And when we grow spiritually, we have had so many benefits from Dr. Nathan and from me. And I want to let you know that as we continue to desire to grow more abundant, there will be more blessing, there will be more benefit, there will be more uh, blessing that we are going to enjoy in Jesus' name. So all the points that we have given you, they are not enough because there are, there are more blessing, there are more benefit that you can be able to enjoy when you continue growing in faith in Jesus' name. And for today, and for today, will be the importance of growing spiritually. Number one, in Leo, that spiritual growth will open a new ways of life that is more fulfilling, enriching, and building on a proper foundation. When we grow spiritually, benefit ya leo ni ya kwamba growing spiritually, you open a new ways of life. Itafungua nini? Mirango, itafungua njia nyingi sha maisha yetu. So, wewe mwenyewe diyo murango. Na mimi diyo mwenyewe wakufungua mirango ya kukua vizuri katika he maisha in Jesus name. Usifikiri ate kuna kitu itakuja iteremuke ili ikuje ikusheki ikuvingidhie kama kivingidhia ikusheki ikusheki hivi au ikusheki ikwambie sasa you are growing hapana wewe mwenyewe wewe mwenyewe na mwenyewe kwa sababu anasema nini because spiritual growth will open what a new way of life new way of life new way of life that is more fulfilling more enriching and building a proper foundation kila mmoja wetu we need a proper foundation ambaye ina 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 ile nini inaitwa richness utanjiri mwingi katika maisha ni mwetu kwa hivyo Maisha yako na maisha yangu inataka utanjiri mwingi na na, na ile kitu inaitako foundation msingi mzuri juu ya maisha yako. Kwa hivyo maisha yako na maisha yangu katika kiroho inataka kuwa na kitu inaitako msingi mzuri. Amen. 
na hiyo msingi itakusaidia sana sana kusimama vizuri katika hii maisha kwa sababu hii maisha tunakaa hii maisha tunakaa ni maisha ambaye inakuwa na majaribu mengi hii maisha tunakaa inakuwa na sheki nyingi hii maisha tunakaa inakuwa na nini na temptation nyingi hii maisha tunakaa inakuwa na nini na many challenges are you together na kwa sababu hii maisha inakuwa na challenges nyingi ukiwa ume unakuwa na ile muziki mzuri una utanjiri wa msimamo mzuri una utanjiri eh, ambaye ina msingi mzuri ujua kwamba hata kukuja nini utasimama vizuri kwa sababu una msingi vizuri ambaye umejekeka ndani ya maisha yako ya kiroho are we together hapa mara nyingi nimemwambia hata sasa ni anajua kabisa sitarudia mambo mengi lakini Jabu moja ni mwapia hapo ni ya kwamba ukiwa na msingi mzuri hata jabu gani ikukute utakuwa unasimama katika Yesu. Kamwambia kwamba nikaenda hapa hapa banki moja hapa town hii na nika nika nikapata loan na ile loan eh nikapatiwa na Mungu wetu akanisaidia nikanunua gari na ile gari ilikuwa ni ya kufanya biashara ya Mungu. Na kununua hiyo gari wakati wa Elenino ilikaa miezi mitatu. Elenino ikaanja ikapeleka gari yangu mpaka wa leo haijaonekana. Tunaongea. Sasa asubuhi yako sababu nilishukuru hapa 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 jua kali asubuhi yake tukaenda kuitafuta. Tukakuta spare part, tukakuta jaki, tukakuta kio, tukakuta mambo, tukakuta ile gari iliharibiwa. Na Fred ile kiguo ilikuwa nyingi hapa mlanga tauni wakati wa ile nini wakati tulikuwa tunatafuta hiyo gari tukakuta ile miti mikubwa ilikuwa saidia eh, saidia um, ya nini ya um, workshop mpaka huko huko slaughter house tukakuta ile miti mikubwa hivi miti mikubwa hivi ilikuwa imeangushwa chini na Fred sasa kuangalia ile miti ile ilikuwa imeangushwa na Fred haikuwa na misisi mizuri haikuwa na misisi mizuri ya, ya kuisimamisha kwa sababu ile miti haikuangushwa na ile Fred ilisimama vizuri wakati wa ile Fred ya Elenino lakini kuna miti mikubwa ilianguka kwa sababu misisi yake haikuwa imeenda chini haikuwa na foundation mzuri haikuwa imeshika kwa sababu hiyo hiyo miti ilikuwa imeangushwa na nini na Elenino ilikuwa imeangushwa na ile Fred Fred ya kutoka Mukoyo na kutoka Mlanga High School na ya town yote ikakutana pale workshop yote iliangusha ile miti na ilikuwa miti mikubwa kwa sababu haikuwa na misisi haikuwa na foundation mzuri ya kusimama wakati wa Fred umenyamasa siju umenyamasa kwa nini eh hiyo kuna miti ilisimama wakati wa Fred na kuna miti iliangu ilianguka ni kwa sababu gani hiyo miti haikuwa na nini na misi misingi haikuwa na foundation mzuri misisi yake ilikuwa hapa juju ya ukia mwezako umwambie ukristo wako usiwe wa juju ukristo wako ukiwa juju ujua kwamba kama unapenda house bed kuna mambo inakujaga na mtu aobagi unajikuta umekuta na ma na mambo inakushiki 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 mpaka sasa kama una foundation mzuri utajikuta ya kwamba wewe umeenda shindwe is not your portion in Jesus name geukia mwezo kumwambie kushindwa is not is not your portion mwambie have a good foundation and a good foundation in your life can only come by growing spirit spiritually ya ukia msa kumwambie growing spiritually you help you to stand firm in the time of trial sio ni mzuri hivyo ndivyo ngali yangu ilienda mpaka wa leo nikaenda kwa insurance wakamwambia sasa ngali yangu imeenda na mimi nilikuwa nimeweka nimeweka insurance na nini wakasema wakanyambia kwamba eh, we cannot eh, we cannot eh, pay you you are come because that was an act of god that was what an act of god sasa utasema nini tuambie mungu ndiye asante 
Kali imeenda. Sasa hivi. Kwa sababu insurance wamesema act of go. Wakasema hapo wakajito. Wakajitoa. Shindwe. Number, number two. The importance of growing spiritually. Number two. Spiritual growth will help us that God will and his, his desire will become ours. Hiyo ni mzuri sana. When we grow spiritually, it will help us in God's will and the desire and the desire of God will be our desire. Hiyo ni mzuri sana. Yakoba spiritually. Na mimi grow spiritually. Na mimi nike grow spiritually. Mapezi ya Mungu itatende ita, 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 ita ikitendeka saidi kwetu. Na na desire za Mungu it be our desire. So vile Mungu anataka wewe dio una hiyo dio hiyo dio unasikia ni mzuri. Desire zake Mungu wetu sasa na wewe e, unapenda hizo desire za Mungu za Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. So may the Lord help you and help me that the, that we love the will of God in our life. You love the will of God in your life and the desire of God you also be your desire. Your desire. Hiyo ni kusema kwamba Mungu vile anataka ndio hata wewe unataka unataka. Desire za Mungu ndio wewe unataka utakuwa ukitaka ukitaka. Mapesi ya Mungu ndio hata wewe utakuwa ukitaka. Kwa sababu wakati mwingi na hapa duniani kwa sababu sisi ni wanadamu unaona hii ni hii ndio mapesi ya Mungu lakini sasa mwili una, mwili unakataa lakini sasa lazima hata kama ni mapesi ya Mungu sasa hiyo mapesi ya Mungu unaipenda hata kama mwili upendi ai si unasikia wakati mwingine hata kama umeokoka unasikia mambo ni magumu ukisikia sasa utapitia hii hata hii hii ni ya Mungu unasikia oi guy the idea of the guy Mungu nipatie grace. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu mambo yamekuwa magumu. Sasa una, na Mungu anasema hii jia. This is the desire of God. Sasa unaambia roho yako sasa mapenzi ya Mungu itatendeka katika jina la Yesu. So let you cause will we love the will of God and desire the desire of God to be your desire. Your desire na tukifanya mna hiyo ujue kwamba sasa wewe hata mafuriko hata mafuriko ikuje hata mambo ikuje itakuosha pale unasimama kwa sababu unasimama na wili ya mu ya Mungu katika jina la Kristo amen tunasaidiana geukie msa kumwambie hii inatusaidia kujua muhimu wa kukua kiroho mwambie hii ni muhimu kukua kiroho utapenda mapenzi ya Mungu na wili ya Mungu taipenda Sivyo ni mzuri. Number three. Growing spiritually will help us to express God's life in our daily life. Ay, 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 Spiritual growth will help us express God's life in our daily life. Hiyo ni kusema kwamba wewe na mimi you are going to express God life every single day in the name of Jesus Christ here in Milan. Hiyo ni kusema kwamba wewe na mimi sisi 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 ni kio ya Mungu. Because you are expressing the life of God here in Mona. You are expressing ni kama vile wengi wenu na naamini ni kia mmoja wenu. Wakati uliamka asubuhi ulienda kwanza ukaomba vizuri sana kutoka kuomba ukaenda kwa bafu alafu ukaenda kwa bafu alafu ukaenda ukasukua ile guo sasa unai sahi hiyo guo lisukua na mna viatu na vile ulitengesa hiyo nywiri na vile we unakaa ni vile ulijifanya asubu na vile sasa unakaa ukajiangalia kwa ki kwa kio ukaangalia hivi ukatani hivi ukajiangalia kutoka pale ukasikia ukasikia bagi yangu yako na simu ukatokea simu lijiangalia na kwa sababu lijiangalia ukaona vile ulivyo hivyo ndivyo tu wewe unakuwa kio ya Mungu kwa 
watu wakitaka kuona Mungu watu wakisikia watu wanapenda Mungu wale watu wanapenda maombi wale watu wanajaa na kiu ya Mungu si watu wengine ni wewe na mimi we, ex- we are expressing the life of God daily in this town of Mlanga in Jesus name Are you talking? Yeukia mwezi wako mwambie wewe ni kio ya Mungu. Kwa hivyo watu wakikuwa na hivi wanaona ala huyu jamaa ameokoka anapenda Mungu, anaenda biguni, huyu mtu hajitukani na mambo ya dunia, huyu mtu anapenda Mungu, anataka usafi ya Mungu, hataki kutukani ya Ukristo na mambo ya dunia. Shidwe. Ya shetani. Sisi si watu wa kujitukani, wa kujitukani. Yeukia mwezi wako mwambie sisi si watu wa kujitukani. Mwambie sisi ni kiho ya Mungu. Watu wakikuona wale wanajua umeokoka, basi wanajua huyu jamaa ameokoka. Na siku nyingine ni mwambia ya kwamba kuna mkimbizi za kijana mmoja, si kijana sasa ni mzee. Ako karibu 78. Kwa sababu mimi sasa niko na 74. Na tulikuwa tunasoma na yeye. Ni wa kwetu kangema. Basi kwa maana sasa si mtu atia njia zake. Eh? Sasa mimi katika ile hali hali ya maisha nikaokoka nilikuwa kijana mdogo sana nafikiri 22 23 hapo sasa inaendelea na na live ya tao mimi nikati tu naokoka tu nilikuwa kijana mdogo sasa mimi nikakaa miaka mingi nikiokoka nikakaa miaka tukakutana naye hapa toto akatoka kwa matatu alikuwa anatoka Nairobi akatoka kwa matatu hapo akanikuta mimi siku nilikuwa na shughuli zangu na mzee rafiki yangu akaniona hivi alikuwa na kunywa sigara wakati aliona akatupa sigara chini akaidi alisalimie mnaelewa hiyo mnaelewa ni nini kwa sababu anajua kanyali ameoko na hataki kunisalimia na siga akatupa sigara chini akanisalimia kwa sababu gani mimi ni kio ya Mungu piga hizo makofi hiyo ni kusema ya kwamba sisi tuwe vio ya mnani ili wale watu wale watu wanatujua wakikutana na sisi watakuwa wakiona kwamba sisi sisi ni vio ya Mungu na ile mambo machafu hawezi wakatukani na sisi kwa sababu sisi ni kio ya Mungu and we are expressing the life of God daily in our life hiyo ni kazi yako na ni kazi ya nani ya ukia mwanzo kuambie kazi yako kila siku ni kuonyesha ile tabia ya Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Ya mwisho leo kwa sababu tuwezi kumaliza eh tuta, tuta next any, any other time because we are, we are coming with another with a something else next week from Monday in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Here again spiritual growth will, will help us to see to see things differently if our mind are at tuned to God. Spiritual growth you will help us to be to see to be seeing things differently if our mind is tuned to God. Yesu anasema kwamba kukua kwetu kwa kiroho tutakuwa tukiona mambo vile Mungu wetu anataka tuione. If we are going to be uh, twinde au kushikanisho na nani na Mungu. Sasa hii ukitaka kufungua kameme utasikia vile kameme inaonge inaongea. Ukitaka kwenda nyumba TV utasikia. Ukitaka kwenda kwa inoro utasikia. Ja, I mean, TV yoyote ukitaka kujua ukifungua hivi if you tune to any channel you are going to hear what that channel is so is talking about. Na sisi sisi lazima roho zetu ifungu, eh, isikanishe na, na, na twini ya Mungu ili ukifungua mambo ya Mungu utasikia vile Mungu anataka juu ya maisha yako are you together because we are attuned to god life yako na life yangu wewe ukifungua hivi ni sasa unasikia sauti kutoka bigo kwa nini kwa sababu you are attuned to god are you together ya ukia mwezako umwambie let us continue to be tuned to our god na ukiwa tuni na mungu sio tasikia tu sauti vile sauti nasema 
Mungu anasema ya kwamba hata kama wewe ni mgonjwa useme ya kwamba hata kama unasikia uchungu lakini useme ya kwamba kupigwa kwa Yesu nilipata kupo hata kama unasikia uchungu wewe useme wewe oh, mgai wako ombodhe nego kwa nenda waleta kudhira ombodhe nego kwa Jehova hapana hata kama unakufa unasema by the stripes of Jesus Christ I am healed hata kama una pesa kwa mfuko au sema kwa pamoja ni maskini ya mwisho mimi sitaki yu Mungu na mna gani hanibarikagi mimi sasa ni maskini hapana unasema kwamba hata kama sina kutupitia Mungu wetu ni mimi nitaichi katika jina la Kristo amen hallelujah even when you, you are weak when you are weak you are saying i am weak but i am strong strong in the road sasa hiyo ni kusema vile be good inasifanya nini inasema inasema ya kwamba hata kama una pesa wewe nitajiri kwa ima kwa imani kama wewe ni mgonjwa wewe uliponywa wewe uliponywa kwa kupigwa kwa ye kwa Yesu hata wewe kama ni mudhaifu unasema ya kwamba mimi ni strong ni strong unasema ya kwamba even if I'm a failure I'm, no, I'm going to make it in life in Jesus name wewe unaongea habari ya mbinguni nambarikisha may this wicked be a good wicked for you May you continue to enjoy to be twinned with God in Jesus name. Amen. May you continue to be a mirror of God in Jesus name. Amen. May you continue to enjoy the blessing of God in your life in Jesus name. Tusimame, tusikuru Mungu, mwambie Mungu ni asanti, nisaidie kukua saidi. Asanti Mungu kwa sababu unataka nikue saidi ili Mungu wetu niwe kio yako hapa Moranga katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu wetu. Nisaidie Mungu wetu ili Mungu wetu niwe twinti na mambo ya biguni. Hata Mungu wetu niwe nikiongea mambo ya biguni, hata mambo kama ifanye vizuri lakini kutigana na Biblia, kulingana na msemo wa biguni, unasema ya kwamba I am going to make it my life will be better, my life is going to be best. The blood of Jesus Christ is speaking better thing in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, Lord, for the way God, you are helping us to grow spiritually, that Heavenly Father, Lord, we can be twinned with you in heaven, that Jehovah God, we can be hearing the voice of heaven. We can continue, Lord, to enjoy the blessing of God. We can continue to be expressing your life here on earth, because we are your mirror here on earth, that when the people are seeing us, they can see God in our life in the name of Jesus Christ oh God we are the sort of this word that when people taste our what we are talking we are saying they can be able to your Lord to see the taste of the kingdom of God in the name of the Lord Jesus we thank you Lord for helping us to be committed heavenly father in the name of Jesus Christ to this wonderful kingdom oh God we thank you Lord for this wonderful lunch, lunch oh God lunch our fellowship lunch our ministry because is a blessing to each of us oh God we thank you Lord we bless you Jehovah we exalt you Jehovah for having us oh God we exalt you Jehovah for everything our life we thank you Jehovah for ministering to us from Monday to Friday oh God we are grateful we are a thank you to you Jehovah for the whole God you have ministered out to us that heavenly father we can continue enjoying to be treated with you to have a fellowship with you in our life oh God thank you Heavenly Father, Lord, as we break for this weekend, I pray that this weekend you'll be the best weekend ever in our life. As we meet here on Friday, Lord, we thank you because you continue helping us to continue growing spiritually for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heart for Jesus. I declare your life is going to be better than before in Jesus' name. I declare you are going to be a mirror of God in this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare you are going to express the character of God in your life daily for the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I declare that you are going to continue to be twinned in heaven for the glory of God. Amen. I declare you are going to be speaking what heaven is speaking because you are connected with heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. And the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. This weekend is going to be the best weekend ever in your life. So enjoy your day. Let us meet on Monday. And the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. 
Amen. God bless you. Have a good weekend. Until Monday, you are a place of the Lord. Amen. Give your offering there. As you go out, we meet on Monday in the name of Jesus. And please come to your friend in Jesus' name. You are a blessed. Amen. Monday, Monday, Monday.